Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome into another video. Today we are going to be talking about the all new uh, Hustle Inc. I mean, Rip. Stay tuned for this one. This one is a really, really good ball. Rolls really well down the lane. I can see why people are comparing it to the uh, Hustle Inc. But again, stay tuned. Don't go away. Welcome back in guys. So again, we're going to be going over this hustle rip. It looks really, really good. But before we do, obviously I got to give a huge shout out to Storm and I am bowling. They're the reasons that I'm able to do and put out the content that I'm able to do for you guys. Uh, so again, make sure you show them some love. Uh, you can use my promo code down here. It's firehouse07. You can use that at checkout to save yourself 20% off of all of your apparel that you order off of the I Am Bowling website. That doesn't include bowling balls that you can get off of I Am Bowling. That's only apparel. So again, use that promo code. Save yourself 20% off. Make sure you head on over there. Get yourself some apparel. They have some really good looking stuff. And obviously it helps me out a little bit as well. So make sure you head on over to I Am Bowling and show them some love. Also make sure you stop into your local Storm VIP Pro Shop. You can check this hustle out as well as the other hustle that's out i believe that's called the m&m i did not get the m&m i only got the rip uh but again you can check that one out you can check uh this one out the rip and you can also check out that storm summit those are going to be releasing on june 23rd but again stop on into your local vip pro shop talk to your pro shop operator and let them know that you're interested in it and who knows maybe they'll order them in I'm sure they will, but uh, these balls are going to sell like hotcakes for sure. But uh, also, if you could do me a solid, hit that subscription button down below. Turn that red button green. It's completely free. You can unsubscribe at any time and hit that bell notification so that you're notified when I upload any and all of my videos. But again, make sure you know that um, I do have a, a hiatus coming up. Uh, I'm having surgery on July 21st for my shoulder. Should put me out for about six to eight weeks. So there might be a little lull in uh, content creation that I put out, but um, that should only be a, a fairly minor stint to the aisle there. So uh, again, let's talk about this hustle rip. So we're going to be throwing it on two patterns today. We're going to be throwing it on a 41 foot typical house shot. We're also throwing it on a 36 foot, very low volume pattern. Uh, this is what we put out for our, our uh, summer months for open bowling. Uh, so that there's a little bit of protection for the lanes, but there's not an insane amount of oil that it's going to gunk up all of our machines. Uh, so again, it's a 36 foot, 12 milliliter pattern, very low volume pattern, but you're going to see here this hustle rip, uh, absolutely rips up that pattern. So stay tuned for that. Let's watch this hustle rip go down the lanes being comparing it up to the hustle camo. All right, so here we're going to look at the all-new Hustle Rip going down the lanes. Now, like I mentioned before, what we're throwing it on here is a 41-foot typical house shot. I believe the volume is around probably 21, 22 milliliters of oil. I could be wrong with that. I, it's been a while since I've looked at our uh, house shot specs. But uh, so anyways, we're going to look at the specs of this Hustle Rip. The cover on this is the VTC Solid Cover Stock. This has been used five times, and the first ever time it's been used was in the Hustle Camo, which we're going to see in a couple of frames here. Uh, the box finish is Reacta Gloss, so it comes with a polish on it. Um, you know, I was a little unsure about what we were going to see with a polish on this ball. Um, you know, fun fact here, I really didn't like how the Hustle Camo came out of box with that. I believe at that point it was 1500 grit polish, but uh, wasn't sold on that, so I wasn't really too excited to see that it was Reacta Gloss that was going to come on this ball, but uh, they've really perfected this Reacta Gloss, and it really, really looked good going down the lanes here. As you can see, there was, there was no problem with the ball kind of squirting through that, uh, through that break point. Uh, core in this is the Hustle Core, obviously. Uh, there's a glitch in the system that I use to see how many times this ball has, has ever been used, or this core has ever been used. 
um, and I didn't feel like going through and counting how many times they made a hustle. So I'm just going to say it's been used a lot, uh, but it is, in comparison, a weaker core than a lot of the other cores, obviously, that um, Rotogrip offers. And again, that VTC solid cover stock that they have on both of these balls here now is uh, a little weaker in comparison to some of the other covers. I think the the strongest ball that they've put this VTC cover stock in is the uh, Hyped, which is basically just a, a, a tear up from the Hustle line. So uh, here you can see the Hustle camo going down the lanes. Now as you can see, uh, this ball is certainly a little bit smoother than what uh, the rip is, and that might go down to um, drilling layout too. I put a really, really strong layout in the hustle rip in a 4x4x2 uh, just to make sure that we were able to get some movement on it and it definitely does. I forget what the layout of this camo is but uh, it's certainly I would say a little bit a little bit weaker than what that rip is. So uh, basically all of the specs in the camo here are the same uh, in the camo as they are in the rip but just in case we'll go through it again so the cover is the VTC solid cover stock again used five times and the first was with this hustle camo uh, box finish like I said was 1500 that's the only thing different between this ball and um, the rip this one was 1500 grit polish uh, whereas the rip is reactor gloss core in this again is the hustle core obviously um, you know, we can kind of tell by the name. One thing I forgot to mention with the rip is the RG in both of these balls is 253, and the differential in both of these balls is 030. So it's certainly a weaker ball in the grand scheme of things. It's going to get down the lane. Uh, it's going to have a little bit more movement uh, in the back part of the lane than, say, like a um, duo like we reviewed a couple balls ago. So I'm going to make a really bold claim here, and I'm going to say that this Hustle Rip is going to be really thought about or really be in contention for Ball of the Year this year. Now, that's a really bold claim for a ball that's maybe, um, you know, in a little bit lower tier bowling ball. You know, it's not in compare, you know, it's not on the same level as like a Storm DNA or like a, a, a 900 Global Zen. This ball is weaker than both of those balls, and normally, you know, you wouldn't think of this kind of ball as a, um, you know, ball of the year. You know, you just think of it as a filler for your bowling ball bag when you're going to a tournament. Now, as you can see here, I really wouldn't expect a ball like this to work on a, you know, open play pattern that is, again, 36 feet and just just over 12 and a half milliliters of oil. Um, but this ball really holds pocket really, really well, and I think that's it, it's probably able to look this good on this pattern because of that reactive gloss that they have on there. So that in and of itself is a, is a good thing, and I think reactive gloss really uh, works well with this ball. However, I can really see this ball probably because of how I have it drilled up that it's going to roll a little earlier, working um, fairly well, you know, on some um, you know heavier volume patterns as well. But this ball looks really, really good going down the lanes. I really like the shape that it has. I like the way it reads the mid lane of the pattern but doesn't jump off of it. Um, this ball looks really, really good, and I would expect this ball to be in the hands of a lot of PBA players as the Hustle Inc. was. All right, so you saw the two balls roll down the lane. And obviously that hustle rip looked really, really good. I'm sorry, the hustle rip looked really, really good. Don't put the ED at the end. That's not what the ball's called. Uh, but the hustle rip looked really, really good. I didn't have the hustle ink, but if this is what the hustle ink looked like, I can see why they really wanted something very similar, if not for that ball to make a return. This ball <laughs> rolls really, really well. And, and, and honestly, that hustle camo rolled really, really well too. You know, I think I had the front seven while I was filming with that one. Uh, before I had to make a zone change with that ball as well. Uh, but both balls rolled really, really well. Uh, now we'll get into this. Who is the hustle rip for? Well, you know, I would say it's a pretty, pretty clear favorite for this to be, you know, a ball that's probably first out of your bag on league night. Uh, if you're bowling on something a little bit low, lower in volume, uh, you know, it, it, you might not be able to use this on like a, a shorter pattern, you know, that does have a lot of oil. You know, I'm thinking like a, a Viper or a Cheetah or something or a Wolf. You might not be able to use this. Uh, it might 
just kind of jackknife off the end of the pattern a little bit more, but I think, uh, you know, a little bit lower volume oil, uh, this ball is really, really going to shine, and it really did here, and I was surprised at how well this ball performed on a 12 milliliter pattern. Again, 12 milliliters. That is absolutely insane for a modern day ball, in my opinion, to really hold the pocket and, and really, really look good on a 12 milliliter pattern. So uh, can't say enough of good things about, the, about this Hustle Rip. Uh, it looks really, really good going down the lanes. And um, yeah, it's, it's probably for a benchmark piece for, for mid to lower volume patterns. And I would say this should definitely be uh, in your bag. This, this ball will probably be in my bag for a long, long time. So I'm really looking forward to getting this ball in there and, and seeing how it performs. Um, so again, who's it for? Again, everybody that's that's looking for a benchmark piece. Now, we'll talk about um, shelf life of this ball here now. This is a new thing I'm doing in my videos. I started it with the Summit, predicting how, ball, how long balls are gonna be uh, on the shelf in your pro shop, how long they're gonna be until they're discontinued. This one is this one is tricky because I can see this one staying out for a long time. However, Rotogrip likes to kind of giving the, the hustle line some faceless every once in a while. You know, I would say every year and a half to two years. So with that in mind, I'm still gonna say probably between a year and two years for this hustle um, rip. However, I could definitely see it being um, in the road grip line for a long, long time, especially since it's drawing comparisons to that hustle ink and, and how well that hustle ink really, really uh, did as far as A, performance level and B, longevity. So I think this ball will be out probably closer to that two year mark, if not maybe a little longer but my official guess is probably gonna be between a year and two. So that is the Hustle Rip. I don't know what we have coming next. Uh, these are two of the balls that have been announced. They're, they're gonna kind of be showcased at Bowl Expo. Unfortunately, I'm not going to Bowl Expo this year, so I can't, um, you know, I won't be able to see the official showcase of all of these new balls that are coming out for Bowl Expo. Uh, don't have anything down the pipeline yet. Nothing else has had been announced for Bowl Expo, but. You know, we're a little under, a little over two weeks away here from Bowl Expo, so I assume we're gonna start getting some new pieces that are gonna be announced to be showcased at Expo, so I would anticipate we're gonna have a couple more balls in my hand uh, before Expo and, and before my surgery comes, we're gonna have a couple more balls to showcase for you guys. So until those next videos, guys, good luck and good bowling.